But sleep is really important for learning for another reason. So sleep serves a really important constellation of functions. So for example, um, it resets our immune system, it resets our metabolism, it resets our emotional control, and it even gets rid of the waste that builds up in our brain over the course of the day. But sleep is actually critical for memory consolidation. So for turning short-term memories into long-term memories. Now, there's a particular part of the brain called the hippocampus, which is really important for learning and memory. So when you do stuff throughout the course of the day, your hippocampus is really keeping track of that. It's a bit like a diary. So if I was to ask you what you were doing before you sat down to listen to this talk, you're using your hippocampus to recall that information. But it only keeps information there for the short term. And when you sleep, all of those short-term memories get flitted off to other parts of the brain, the cortex, and turned into long-term memories. So if you don't sleep, you can't turn those short-term memories into long-term memories. And that's why sleep is so important for learning. That's why um, pulling an all-nighter and cramming is kind of the worst thing you can do for study because it, you are not going to retain that information for the long-term. So really, here's what you should do. Make sure you prioritise your sleep before you study, just so you can be a bit more alert, but also really prioritise that sleep after learning because you will need that to retain that information for the long term.